Katie Day is an experimental pop artist who I reckon you should be familiar with. If you're into some of that uh, hypnagogic pop or even some of that art pop, then you should be absolutely familiar with Katie Day's work because she is nailing this sound right now. Not being in love with her previous stuff, but it's definitely interesting and quirky and strange to the point where it, it keeps me quite captivated throughout, to be honest. And that's basically how I feel about this new album from hers as well, Solip Sisters. And uh, so far, I think this might be the best one I've heard. Some very strange, ethereal sounds going on throughout. It's very surreal to listen to the whole way through. And it's clearly meant to be that way. Katie has a very odd voice that I think will put off a lot of people, but at the same time, you may be completely compelled by it, like me. It definitely could do with tidying up at points, and it can be a little grating in some areas on the album as well, but overall, it's very cool to listen to, to be honest. She's conjured up this very interesting sound that um, just sends me in this weird uh, mood of like, what the fuck is going on? But at the same time, it's totally spellbinding, and I am completely sucked into this world of strangeness. Some of the instrumentals completely flourish at points as well, like that wall of sound that comes like caving in at the end of the track shell is just absolutely wonderful. It does get quite overbearing, but it does produce some of my favourite moments on the entire album and kind of wish there was more of it throughout. But not to say that there isn't enough of it, because maybe it would get a bit too much, but just when it comes through, it is just so blissful. Stuck is definitely the best track here though. This is such a great little pop tune and that like marching drumming rhythm that's uh, taken over the track the whole way through is pretty friggin' good. It's very melodic and she's definitely a bit more in tune as well with the vocals. And it's really nice to hear that as well because like I said, sometimes the vocals are a bit off out of focus, off key even, and even those moments are pretty damn good, but it's good to see that even when she can like break through with a great vocal performance, it doesn't harm the album's like quality or anything like that. But I think the unique selling point of this album generally though is just how everything seems out, out of touch with each other, like some of the instrumentals and the vocals don't match. It's a complete whirlwind of ideas, and yeah, it's still, it's, it still ends up being really interesting to listen to and enjoyable. You're surrounded by absolutely nothing that could be considered ordinary throughout this album, and that's the thing that captivates me the most. This is quite a special release, I think. I am hoping to see if it grows on me even more as the year goes by, but for now, I think I'm going to go 7 out of 10. I think this is a really good album, and I think everyone should be checking this out. Um, again, it's incredibly unique and uh, also very satisfying. Let me know your thoughts on this if you have heard it. And if you haven't heard it, please check it out and then come back to me. Thank you for watching my video review. Have a good day. Goodbye, baby.